well. Hope you all are staying safe and doing okay at home. I know this year has caused a lot of stressors, whether it be uh, being at home, canceled plans, or online school. Uh, it seems like we've been a little bit more aware about our feelings and our health uh, mentally and physically. So today on Science with Steph, we're gonna talk a little bit about stress and uh, mental health. And we're gonna talk about how we can connect our mental health and focusing on stress and how it can affect our physical health and with a focus on the immune system, which is obviously so important today. It's hard to think that the way we think or feel or the way we deal with our emotions can affect our physical health. Uh, a lot of the time we think of our brain and the rest of our body as completely separate parts of us, uh, but it's all very connected. So we're gonna little, talk a little bit about stress, what the microbiome is, what uh, the immune system is, and what the gut-brain access is. I'll teach you a little technique on how to control and like manage your stress when you're at home and how that can uh, help you with other things in your life. Let's get started. Let's talk a little bit about what is stress. So stress is the body's reaction to a change that requires a response. So the body reacts to these changes with physical, mental, and emotional responses. Stress is just a normal part of life uh, because of your environment, because your body, because your thoughts. When your body feels the stress, your adrenal glands release the hormone cortisol. So cortisol is released into the bloodstream and it's called the stress hormone. So cortisol causes a increase in your heart rate, blood pressure, and this is your natural flight or flight response. So the stress hormone has kept humans alive for thousands of years. Therefore, during the stress response, blood flow towards the brain, the large muscles, and the limbs rather than the digestive system. So our body is not concerned with digestion during stress, so it suppresses the digestive system. However, this affects the microbiome. So what is the microbiome? So the microbiome is a community of healthy bacteria that lives primarily in our digestive system or in our gut. So these healthy bacteria uh, fights off invaders from coming into our body. So these invaders being uh, diseases or things that come in and we want to protect ourselves from. So it, again, it is essential for our immune system, which is so important right now. So how can we reduce the stress we feel to help our immune system? I have an activity um, which is actually a meditation. So meditation is a type of relaxation technique that helps calm down the body. So the way that you do it is you're gonna take your hand and you're gonna have your thumb and your index finger and you're gonna first put your thumb on one side of your nose and breathe in for five seconds. And then you're gonna take your index, take your index finger and then you're gonna breathe out for five seconds. So I'm gonna do that one more time. Do that five times and that actually increases the stress response from happening in your body and helps you calm down. If you want to learn a little bit more about this, look up the brain gut access. Thank you so much for watching Science with Steph and I hope you try out that meditation at home to bring down your stress and increase your immune system.